here today with Dr. Tom Smiley from the Bartlett Research Lab. And today we're standing in front of the beautiful garden, which is full of boxwood hedges. And you know, a lot of us have heard about boxwood blight. What is boxwood blight? Yes, boxwood blight is a fungal disease. It's relatively new to the Pacific Northwest, and it can be absolutely devastating to a boxwood garden like this one. And it's actually gotten into this garden uh, and is starting to cause some problems. So what, what is the blight? What, what do we... Uh, the blight is a fungus that will attack uh, first the foliage and it will give us spots on the foliage and then it will move into the stems and it gives us black lesions on the stems. Uh, it will continue down the stems until it kills the whole plant if it's left untreated. So that would be some of the symptoms then would be kind of this, this discoloring or spotting on the leaves and the stems. And then yes. you said, does it defoliate the plant or does it just kill it? Or? Yes, that's one of the ways that you can distinguish this disease from many other boxwood diseases. And boxwood gets a lot of diseases and has right. other problems. Uh, but this one will cause defoliation in the summer. A lot of times with boxwood uh, diseases, the leaves are retained dead for a while. With this one, they drop during the growing season. Is there, and where, where does it come from? I mean, how does, it, how does uh, the plant get? It came there? from uh, Europe originally and then uh, is transmitted around. One of the most common ways it's transmitted is with new plants into the garden. So uh, there were some nurseries a decade or more ago that were selling some contaminated plants and it's kind of contaminated the whole Pacific Northwest with those wow. plants. Uh, and then so that you get one new plant in the garden and it can spread to the rest of the garden. So is it spreading just by airborne or how does it? Yeah, so these spores are very sticky. So when you walk through the garden and you brush up against a plant with your clothes or your pruning tools or even your dog, uh, the spores will stick to those uh, surfaces oh, wow. and then you touch another plant that's healthy and you've just put the spores on it. So you have to be very careful, especially when pruning. Uh, if you're gonna do your whole garden, start with the healthy plants first. Finish with these, always in the day. Uh, and if you're moving from garden to garden, you need to protect your clothes or change clothes uh, because quite honestly, landscapers can spread this uh, by accident as well. And it's probably important to sanitize your, your pruning tools or all your tools. Yes, you all your tools, uh, yes. And, and even carrying out debris. The debris should be bagged at the site uh, and don't drop leaves. Don't drag it like you would a tree branch. Right. Uh, it all has to be contained. So you don't want to put it in your yard debris or you compost it because it'll spread. So make Correct. sure you bag it and then put it in, in more in, in the landfill. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but landfill it, yeah. yeah. Um, and same with the whole plant, a whole dead plant, bag it on site, don't drag that soil anywhere. Put it in a the bag, then it goes to the landfill. So if, we, you know, we've, if we've determined that we do have a boxwood blight in our, in our garden, what can we do to either prevent it yes. or to treat what we already have? Yes, so there are a number of different things we should do. One is let's watch out for irrigation. So this is also spread, it's a sticky spore, but it's also splash spread. So uh, irrigation head like this uh, can spread it and it improves the environment. So the environment needs to be wet, which is why it spreads right. in the spring. So when we have rain, that it will spread it. Uh, irrigation we can control. Uh, so uh, that is one thing. Watch our irrigation. Uh, drip is better than okay. overhead. Um, pruning. We'd like to open up the, the hedge if we can. We don't want it too tight because the tighter it is, the less air circulation. Okay. So if we can prune so there are some openings in the hedge, that's going to let it dry out. Uh, then the real big gun is the fungicide programs. Okay. And uh, fungicides can be very effective with this disease as well as most other plant diseases. Uh, but we need to do fairly frequent applications ranging from about two to four weeks between application depending on the material you're using. Right. And I know Bartlett has, has services that will come out yes. and, and treat that and they can identify it and, and put people on a treatment plan. Yes, absolutely right. And, and you can do it yourself uh, as well if your landscape isn't too large. Right. <laughs> you know, so there is some over-the-counter 
Yes. Or that you can pick up at your local garden right. center. Right. Your garden can, center can guide you to the right fungicide. To do that. So, yes. so it sounds like, you know, it's very important, you know, to maybe catch it earlier. Are there preventative measures uh, that we can use? Absolutely. So one preventative uh, measure, if you're bringing new boxwood into your garden, plant them off to the side uh, for the first season. Make sure they're not blighted because the nursery people, they don't want to sell you contaminated right. plants, but sometimes they don't know either. Right. So plant it off to the side, then move it into your garden the next season when you know that it's clean. Right. And so if we have a hedge that, you know, has has blighted and they've removed sections of that hedge yes. and they want to replant that yes. area is that an okay thing uh, or do they need to be yeah it's it's okay but you really have to keep an eye on that and then the fungicide programs again can be very effective uh, at keeping it down. I think we'll show you some examples in this garden uh, where they have pruned to start with pruning out right. the, the blighted material, then put it on a fungicide program, and we have really good response. Uh, right. Boxwoods are incredible, incredibly tough plants. Right, they're, they're a very resilient plant. They but sure it does sound like it's important to stay, stay on top of it and you know, follow, follow a lot of the tips that you have. Yes. You know, some more of the tips, you, know, you can go to the gardentime.tv website. We'll kick it over to the Bartlett site where they have more information on this. And you know, it's one of those, we love our boxwoods here we in the do. Northwest. <laughs> you know, it's such a great plant. Yes. We just want to make sure we keep our hedges healthy. Absolutely. So thank you for all the information. Thank you.